Hey everybody, Brandon Railway 6920 here. I'm gonna show you my review of the Broadway Limited Smoke and Sound Paragon 3 Broadway Limited engine, AC6000. I'm gonna make this a quick review and then I will do a running review later. Once I work out all the bugs. This is a BHP iron ore train. And I custom lettered it for my railroad. To show you how to do this, you take the hatch off here, shut your smoke unit off, take the caps off, use the funnel right here, drop some fluid in it, make sure you don't have a smoke bubble. Show you a few of the functions it has, and I will show it to you running. Now that Broadway Limited sent me the new axles to fix it, the smoke always follows me. Zero controls your lights. Two is your horn. One is your bell. I'm using the NCE power cab system. Load variable smoke, so the harder it works, the more the fan blows. Overall, I'm impressed. I'm happy that Broadway Limited honored their product and sent me new axles. I had one that had a chipped gear on it. They wound up sending me three new axles. Oh, and that might be why she's having issues. The snowplow was off and dragging, so that's why it was having issues trying to pull the train that I had hooked up to it. It was uh, dragging and causing it to bottom out and short out, so I'll have to fix that, which is nothing. That's really no big deal. But I'll go ahead and show you how to turn the smoke unit on and off. You will be able to tell if it's on or not because you will be able to feel a slight vibration. Take the hatch off in this little toggle switch here. You just shut it off and your smoke's off. And then let's see. Button nine shuts the whole engine off. Like I said, these just clip right off, and that's how you put the smoke fluid in. Show you a quick little detailed shot of the engine. Nice warning labels, clearly legible under magnification. And we'll slide up to the front. Show you the nice detail on there. Grab irons. Feel like they're metal. Feels like everything is separately applied. This is my first Broadway engine. So I'm not 100% sure on all that for you guys. The little GE builder plate there on the nose. Some high adhesion trucks. Very, very nice detail. And then on the top, you can even see detail warning labels there. So I am very happy with this product. 
I am happy with the way Broadway Limited handled um, sending me parts because it was brand new with the chipped axle gear. So I'm very happy that Broadway sent the new parts and honored the warranty. And they they didn't force my hand on sending it back to them. They allowed me to do the work on fixing it because basically all I had to do is take the truck apart, which was super simple. And uh, it's pretty much like Bachman. The, the bottom pops off. You slide the two truck frames aside and you can take the old axle out, put the new one in. And instead of sending me just one axle, they sent me three so I could replace all three on the front. Just as a little precaution or whatever you want to call it. But overall, like I said, I give Broadway Limited a solid A. Uh, I, I really love the detail on this. The polling power is amazing. It pulls my 42 car coal train just fine. Um, and it was pulling that with a broken axle gear. So... I can't wait to get the rest of these cars hooked back up and uh, do a review later on for you guys and, and show you the engine running, show you the load variable smoke on it, and um, show you guys what she can actually pull because it's a beast. It's a heavy engine. I like that. Heavier the engine, to me, the, the better. So anyhow, for now, this is Brandon Railway 6920 signing off.